Hey guys, welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. So I did another Dollar Tree haul today. Um, as you noticed, dyed my hair. So tonight is Christmas Eve, so it is jammy style. And I just wanna show you what I picked up today. It's not very much Christmas related. It's more or less just like decorations for the house or craft ideas and stuff like that. So first, I picked up these ginormous, not ginormous, but it's big enough to put over my head. So I picked up these two laundry baskets. I have a perfect craft for these, and as silly as it sounds, and I know Christmas is tomorrow, I'm gonna use these for Halloween next year, and I'm also going to use for Halloween next year, and I know it's horrible to say it because it's not even Christmas, but I also picked up these. Oh, let me pull this out. I picked up these little waste baskets as well. I thought these were really, really cute. Um, I do have a great um, Halloween decoration, outdoor decoration as well for this. Sorry for saying Halloween already, even though it passed. But who knows, I might use those waste baskets. I picked them up because I don't know if they're gonna have them this upcoming fall of 2019 or not. So I picked them up just in case. They'll go in my craft closet, not a big deal. So I found, this box is wicked heavy. It is General Mills, they're new, peanut butter chocolate blasted shreds. So it's like shredded wheat, but with peanut butter and chocolate. This is one pound, 7.2 ounces for a dollar. I don't know if you guys have those near you with this. I'm intrigued to try this because I love peanut butter. So I'm gonna try that. I also picked up um, some more of these ginormous plastic bulbs, the bigger ones. I didn't see any at Walmart. I know they had them actually cheaper at Walmart. I think they were maybe like five or 10 cents cheaper. Um, I also have a lot of different craft ideas for spring, summer, and fall, and other holidays for this. So I got, picked up a few of these just in case. So I also love watching Food Network and I love the Pioneer Woman's KitchenAids because she always has them decorated or they're different colors, they have different decals and stuff like that. But I was like, why, I have one and I have a white one, but in my head I'm like, why don't I either just paint it myself? But then I was like, mm, if I paint it, then it could chip. So I was like, no, I'll keep it white. And I picked up these Dollar Tree decals. Thought these were really cute. I just thought they were super, super cute. I also picked up, so I can interchange it if I want to, <coughs> Excuse me. This one, I thought it was super cute. It says, chocolate doesn't ask silly questions. Chocolate understands with little hearts. Thought that was cute. Thought that'd be really cute to put on the KitchenAid as well since it is white and this would stand out. <coughs> I also picked this up because of course, you know, I have my fur babies. I have my two dogs as you kind of heard her in the background. I have Cricket who is right here next to me. He loves to be in the camera. But I thought this was really cute with the little paw print. Don't know if I'd really use it in my KitchenAid, but this could go by ne next to my dog's water bowls or something like that. Just some cute little dollar things. <clears throat> Excuse me, Cricket. He might pop in the video. Nope. Yep. So, <laughs> um, we picked up my, gra my husband's grandparents a bottle of wine. They love wine. And I thought this was really cute. It's a little burlap wine sack, cinch it together. I thought that was super, super cute. Um, the Christmas stuff there is kind of all bought out. So I was just kind of rummaging through to see what they had. They do have some really cute other gift bags. I was like, I have so many of them right now and I'll kind of wait till after Christmas to get them. At this point, they had these really cute, ugly sweater gift bags. And I was like, how awesome would those be in a frame? But I also have another frame idea for next year. So keep an eye out for that. I do have an old, yep, old stocking. I have it hang hanging. And it's a cat and it says Santa, I've been perfect. It's a little stocking. I got that from the Dollar Tree a couple of few years ago, actually. They've stepped up their game for the cat and the dog ones. Thought this was super cute. A little sideways. Love this. And we did get the girls, like, and you saw the video yesterday. We got the girls some uh, chew toys. Look how cute the little ears Yeah. So I only picked up, like I said, just a couple things for Christmas and that was it. So I did a super quick Dollar Tree haul. I ended up having to go there just for the necessities, but I can't help myself. 
So of course I had to look up and down every aisle. My husband is a trooper because he brought me because I hurt my leg. <laughs> so I needed assistance. But I wanna wish everybody, that's Greg, again, a very Merry Christmas tomorrow, Happy Holidays and everything. Just stay safe. If you're drinking, please get yourself a designated driver. We wanna make sure that everybody goes home safe and sound to their families. Merry Christmas and God bless guys. See you after Christmas. So just one little thing, I lied. You'll see me on Christmas. I'll probably post it after Christmas though. Um, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. You should check out the outfit I have for Christmas. It is not like a dress up. I am going to be in a lit up llama onesie that is all about Christmas and a super simple breakfast for Christmas time as well and just through the holidays along in itself. So stay tuned and have a good one guys.